What's up bafflers, James out of here. If you're looking to organize your storage space, then I have a perfect solution for you. Plus, we'll also find out a handy tip for using Microsoft's OneDrive. So, don't forget to follow me at TechBaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. You, you know, by now, we're trying to reach 5,000. Optimism, hooray. Obviously, it sounds like I'm a bit ungrateful. I was looking at a video, uh, what was it? Yeah, the uh, eBay gaming computer video. And I realized back then I had 1.8k where we are at the moment is is crazy so hopefully we can get to 5k by december that'd be really cool you can get your exclusive merch from techbaffle.shop you can't see me but yeah so what we're going to be using is a free piece of software called mini tool partition wizard now you may think at first why we're we using partitioning software we're not actually going to be partitioning our disk what we are going to be doing is using one of its many features. Now, I will cover more of its features in future videos. There's loads of different things. It looks a bit like, like a window sort of layout, so it's nice and easy to navigate. Today, we're going to be using this one called Disk Usage Analyzer. So go ahead and click that. Now, you can select which disk you have. If you have only one disk, then select that disk, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, I have a few different disks available and my C drive, to be honest, isn't particularly that interesting. So what we're going to do is go on to D drive. It should have a few different files. And there we go. So that didn't take very long at all. I was, I was thinking it was going to take forever. You can see what it's done is it's organized a list of extensions on the right. So say if you want to find all the MP4 files, let's go with that. Just double click that and what it will do it will find every single mp4 file on the computer so what you'll find is all your mp4 files or whatever file format you chose and you can see how much space it's taken up now what it does it organizes it by the percentage of the drive so this uh, video that I used for the Galaxy Note unboxing video actually takes up 2% of the entire hard drive so it doesn't seem like much but that's quite a big file, it's actually almost 9 gigabytes file size. You can also arrange it by file size as well. Funny enough, it happens to be the same. <laughs> uh, the biggest file happens to be that one as well. So, if you maybe have used your computer for a long time and you don't really know what half of the stuff is on it, you can use last change. So what it will do, you can find some stuff like here. I've got this file which is all the way from 2016. Now, I didn't even realise this even existed. Obviously, now I know it does exist. I know it's not really much of an issue. It's only 96 kilobytes, so it's not really worth my time. But you may have some old files lying around, so it's a good way to find out what you've had. Because this is the entire hard drive or SSD. There's so much ways you can use this, even this space usage analyzer. But one of my favourite ways, like I mentioned, is this file extension method because you can just sort what you can find every single mp4 or every single flp if you use FL studio every single png file mp3 look at all of these different file types so <laughs> another thing what you can do is organize by folder size now i did a video once on how to check the size of a folder as you know Windows doesn't have that feature built in it's quite irritating when you're running low on space and you don't know how big I mean you can right click and go to properties and, but it's just long doing that every single time unsurprisingly the biggest folder on my D drive is tech baffle which happens to be 400 gigabytes so that's taken up 85% of the entire hard drive so that is a lot of storage so basically this comes in useful if you just want to compare all your different folders and again you may have a folder like this music folder happens to be 33 gigabytes I didn't even know that so there is a lot of uh, fold folders on here I didn't even know how big they were so that's actually really handy so you can go over to Windows and you can rearrange it you can move things over to a different drive if you let's say if it's your C drive you can move the big files over to a different drive or SD card and that basically clears up a lot of space on your computer 
another thing you can do so this is in tree view so what happens is if you click one of the pluses it will show you the biggest folder or I've just got it because I've clicked size um, of every well, <laughs> a biggest folder of every folder it's really difficult to explain but hopefully you know what I mean so in the tech battle folder the Galaxy Note 10 is the biggest folder it's 111 gigabytes so I know out of this entire folder that is the biggest folder and say something like trust a mouse is seven gigabytes so that's not really a cause of concern so all you can do is arrange it by percentage and arrange it by size like I mentioned you can arrange it also by the amount of items so you may have loads of items in in one folder like music 26,636 um, items in there so that is a lot of items in one folder you may not even know how much items you have in each folder obviously when you're looking at my storage it's probably not quite as exciting as looking at your own but you get the overall idea of it it's just helpful so that's tree view next up we have file view so what this does is it searches for every single file on your hard drive and I literally mean every single one look at this look at that that is a lot of files as you can tell we have a lot of files on here but what we can do I do like this percentage of drive it gives you a good indication of how big these files are so this file right here is like a file that I used for the Galaxy Note 10 unboxing video and that's taken up 2% of the drive almost 10 gigabytes so yeah you can arrange it by size you can see which ones take up the most size as well also as mentioned before you can use the last change so say if you have some old files on here you didn't realize existed you can check and see you may not even know they were even there to begin with if you've last modified them in say 2016 like this one you may not even know they were there uh, just to clarify I think the reason why this is the last change in 2016 I think this is a um, something I got off video hive for my, my videos that's the reason why those dates are so much older than the rest so uh, what else do we have? we have attributes which are all A I don't really know much about that but A and then finally you have folder view so you can check every single folder in your hard drive and see which of the folders are the biggest space takers so again we're seeing repeat patterns here Tech Baffle biggest folder and Galaxy Note 10 in that one is 23% which is also a huge file. Blitzwolf earphones, if you haven't seen that video, that's quite cool. This is the, right here, this is the struggles of video editing. Video files take up loads of space. In fact, I've actually bought an external hard drive which I will be featuring in a future video. It's not like any normal sort of boring external hard drive, it's actually pretty cool. Anyway, so I think I've covered it all I think there's quite a lot to it but it's more just being practical it doesn't have to shout at you saying this file is bad this file is good it's about you making your own decision which files are the biggest on your computer and then moving them to a different drive if you need to perhaps they're just old files you don't really want them anymore you can just go ahead and delete them so if you do find a file that you don't want anymore you can just right click you can either delete to recycle bin or delete permanently obviously make sure you know what the file is before you do so because you don't want to accidentally do something you can just just like in Windows Explorer you can double click it I'd have actually don't even know what this is so we'll soon find out I still I still don't know what this is like it's a tiny 82 byte file let's see if we can find something a bit more here we go so <laughs> So yeah, this is real or MP4. So what you can do, if you're not sure what this is, you can go ahead and double click it. It will open up in your chosen media player. Yeah. So yeah, so yeah, this happens to be a tech baffle video. Funny that. What's up, bafflers? James Orton here. Yeah. Um. <laughs> that's what you're missing out on the face cam. <laughs> Uh, so if you right click and click explore here you can open up the folder where your file is located if you can't quite remember let's go ahead and exit that but obviously you can see there's so much more features of this software 
if there's anything that spots your eye that's a weird phrase go ahead and comment and let me know I will be offering more videos on this software because it's got so much different useful features on it so let's go ahead and exit that before before we go here's a top tip so if you go into OneDrive so what you may not know is that despite this OneDrive service being cloud it does actually store a lot of files on your computer so without you knowing you may actually have all of these sort of files on your computer if you see these blue clouds here this means that the files are only available when online and trust me that staves up a lot of storage space because instead of storing a copy locally on your hard drive and a copy to the cloud it just has the cloud one it just accesses it so I'll try this on this music folder so the music file is now always available on this device now this is great if you really want to make sure that it's always in your device but if you want to save up storage space here's a good solution so you go and right click and you click clear space now this sounds scarier than it actually is what it does is it removes the local copy on your computer and as you can see it's turned into a nice little blue cloud so all those files are actually located on the cloud and Microsoft doesn't save another copy locally on your computer now if you want to do this across all of OneDrive just click right click on OneDrive itself the folder on the left and then you can actually press clear space on there and what it will do it will go through every single uh, folder every single file and it will remove the local copies on your computer and keep everything that you upload to OneDrive online so hopefully this helps you free up some space if you're struggling on storage space then that tip is really helpful if you use OneDrive. Thanks for watching, I'll put the link for Minitool Partition Wizard in the description. If you have any questions let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe and ding so you don't miss a thing. Let's see if we can reach 5000 subscribers by December. If you like this video smash that like button. We're on the daily upload grind so don't get behind. We have awesome videos on the way. Merch is available at techbaffle.shop. We ship from both Europe and the USA. It's, it's, it's worldwide. Don't forget to follow me at techbaffle. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Snapchat. For the latest head over to techbaffle.com. Thanks for watching and have a baffling day. A few minutes later. So when that's done you should notice that you've got far more storage space than you had previously. So now I've got 13 gigabytes free whereas before I had about one. So yeah, that's, that speaks for itself. So hopefully this has helped.